by a different person from that whole uh, Beatle situation and legacy and whatever, you know. And uh, I guess that's the only way I can do it, you know, performing. Uh, uh, but uh, I, I don't think of myself as fitting in anywhere. Obviously, it's only other people's opinions of where I fit in. But uh, to me, I'm just a, a, a guy that likes writing songs and uh, has loved all the music around me and used that as an influence to, to write music. And that's about it. Having a nice evening here, listening to some records, and uh, we'll be with you for a little while now. Uh, do you... Well, not <clears throat> not really until my early teens, you know, 11, 12, 13. <laughs> um, that's when I really started listening to music, because obviously before, um, as a kid, you, you, you just don't tend to listen that much. You know, you run around, you play games, so on. And uh, that, that was the first time I really started listening, 70s. Mm. And that was from radio or <coughs> records? Or? From radio a lot, yeah. And whatever my mother had on the radio or my record player I used to listen to. Uh, book? Um, I'd, I had a, a drum kit when I was five, but th that didn't really settle in at that age. But, uh, but we had a piano around the house um, when I was about 11 or 12. Mm. And, uh, I just used to play around on it to mess around and slowly uh, just got um, straight into it you know, just, and just carried on playing. So it didn't just happen with anything, just sort of Yeah, it was just playing little bits and then getting more interested and more interested and then wondering what a different instrument, you know, going on to the guitar and the drums. You know. But, um, I mean, uh, the, the piano was just the first thing we, uh, I just tried, but I, I really went on to guitar uh, after uh, you know, a couple of months of playing around. Yeah, sure. The uh, first one I have lined up for you is uh, a group called Go West, which is a, a fairly new group from England, and uh, they've just got a really good song, a good up-tempo song that I like, and it's called We Close Our Eyes. Well, the next one we have is an uh, old favourite of mine, and it's uh, Stand By Me uh, from the Rock and Roll album by John Lennon. I don't know, I, well, as far as uh, listening to, to, to like Prince or, um, or even Go West, um, it, it sounds as though the music is taking a bit of a turn and getting a bit, uh, a bit more serious away from all the dance track stuff, and um, I think a bit, of, a bit more rock and roll is coming back into the music. Uh, which is what I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. Well, the next uh, next song we've got lined up for you is uh, Roxanne by The Police, who are one of my favourite bands of all time. So, uh, without further ado, here we go, Roxanne, The Police. Next one on our list is Let's Go Crazy by Prince, who's another one of my <laughs> favourite artists at, this, at the present time. And, uh, I met him once, he seems a pretty nice guy. He's uh, very quiet, but he's a good guy. So this one's Let's Go Crazy by Prince. I'm the next, <laughs> next one I have on the list by the Beatles. And um, this one's just a crazy, mad song, which I just love to death. So here we go. I'm the Wars, the Beatles. Um, well, I mean, the, when I first listened to him or, or knew of his work was uh, through Billy Joel's album, uh, the one in particular from Nylon Curtain, which uh, attracted, you know, just, and um, after hearing that, I, I, we spoke, and uh, it's just golden because uh, he's, he's, he's the type of guy that lets you bring your own feelings out in his song, you know, he doesn't crush uh, any ideas you have. And I saw that through uh, Billy Joel's work and uh, all the other work he's done. Did you book? Well, I, I mean, I, I think everything's important in a song, obviously. Um, but uh, chord structures uh, are a big thing for me. That's why I listen to Keith Jarrett, because uh, he's just wonderful with the, the, the old piano. Melody is obviously very important, whether, whether it's going to be commercial or not. Uh, it's just got to have the catch and... Uh, fit in with the, the music um, and uh, of course lyrics are important too. In which order do you have in that order? 
Um, yeah, pretty much so. If I, if I just sit and play, if I hear something I like, then I'll try and structure it. And uh, then uh, I'll record that and then sit there with headphones and a microphone and uh, hum along and, mm. uh, until I find a, a melody that fits in and then just work whatever the music gives me, whatever feeling I get, then, uh, that, then I try and structure the lyrics around that. Um, <clears throat> well, I'd say no, but, uh, but um, respectfully, um, I mean, I think uh, that they did a good job, <laughs> at, you know, then and there, and Paul's still going quite well. Um, but uh, then again, I've, I've, I'm a different generation. I'm, I'm not putting them down or anything. It's just I've, I'm, I've got my own stuff to do. You know, but that was my dad's thing. I've got my own new thing to do. Even though we're connected with music and rock and roll, that's the way it is. Mm. Yeah, sure. Um, I picked Lonely because um, it uh, it was one of the first songs that I wrote and. Uh, it uh, just meant a lot to me at the time because it was really the way I felt. So uh, this first one is um, This one is a uh, say you're wrong. Um, I wrote this I, after writing so many ballads for the album. Uh, I decided I needed an up-tempo song, <laughs> and um, uh, basically wrote it just on keyboards. A very rough idea and then came out with some reasonable lyrics, so uh, I uh, actually built it into a nice song, you know, and, uh, well, here you go, so you're wrong. This next one, Well, I Don't Know, um, was uh, it was quite a recent one, I suppose. It's, um, it was just uh, feelings and thoughts about life after death and whatnot, so uh, it's one of my favourites, and uh, it's called Well, I Don't Know. Kampai, yeah. Kampai. ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがと